You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? How's the coffee taste? I need more. Just letting you know. But anyway, welcome to another epic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. Yeah, and some days I wish I drank coffee, but I don't. But anyways, 755 is the episode that you're listening to. And as always, we're glad that you're with us. My name's Rob. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I am, Rob. Kind of like the sky. I'm, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. Kind of like the sky in that particular uh, image. That oh, you're I need to send you. Uh, I need you to send you this link for 754. Yeah, please do. Um, yeah, so we've got a great show for you today. Very excited. We've got a question about fun stuff. Yes, really? it's, it's interesting. There doesn't seem to be a lot of actual data on this particular question other than your experience, which is good data. True, 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 which true. Is good data. What we're talking about today is life expectancy of batteries themselves. And what can you expect? Because not all batteries are the same. Um, we've had some very varying issues with batteries. I think you get more cycles out of the battery depending on obviously how much you use it, but also depending on how much the drone is manufactured. That's something that I've noticed. Like Phantom batteries tend to last longer than Mavic batteries, which tend to last longer than, say, Spark batteries. So this will be an interesting show. We're going to talk about how you can prolong the life of your batteries, talk about what you can expect to get out of your batteries. So if you're planning... Um, you know, on having uh, or buying batteries often in your drone business and you're amortizing that equipment schedule, as Rob would say. I use some big financial terms, Rob. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud of you. I'm always proud of you, Paul. (laughs) You're a sweetheart. (laughs) Thanks, Rob. (laughs) Vice versa. Um, But uh, we're going to be talking about how to get the most out of those batteries, um, planning and pricing. Recently, in a survey, we actually found out the average number of batteries in a drone pilot's case. Can you guess that number, Rob? Average number in a drone pilot's case. So we're talking a commercial pilot. Mm-hmm. We need to clarify here a little bit. This I'm was say, from the. This was all this data was collected during Interdrone. So last okay. Year. Average. I'm going to say six. Wow, very close. The average was five. I almost said five, and then I. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. And then I telepathically blocked that idea in your mind, and I, was I like, did, Don't and I say thought, that. you know what? The obvious answer is five. I bet it's one more than five. <laughs> it is for us. It's a lot more for, right, that for it, us. That's true. But we did say average. That so, is true. Anyways. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, let's get into today's question, which is brought to you by the awesome members of the Drone Union community. If you're not a part of the best Facebook group in the drone community, you've got to become a part of it. Uh, for $47 a month, not only do you get access to 27 courses, and as of the end of this week, 29 courses, uh, you also get access to this Facebook group where you have you know, a one-on-one opportunity to get your questions answered. And I've seen a lot of other people make those claims, uh, and I think that you know, I think that after viewing everyone else's Facebook groups, I'm really proud about the community that we fostered, the positive nature, mm-hmm. the willingness and helpfulness of members towards each other. It's really inspiring to see. And if you want to check it out and see just how awesome it is, go to droneu.education and check it out. But anyway, uh, let's get into today's silly question there, Robbo. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Hello, Rob. My name is Stephen Carpenter. I've been watching your YouTube video channels for approximately the last two months and really appreciate what your company has provided along with you guys to the UAS community. I'm in the process to purchase a drone for the first time. I'm looking at either a Phantom 4 Plus or a Maverick Pro or maybe waiting for a Maverick Pro 2 coming out in the near future. My question is regarding batteries. What is the average life expectancy? In other words, how many times can the a LiPo battery be recharged to keep a safe and effective flight? Truly appreciate your videos and love the way you keep them uplifting, funny, and hilarious presentations. Keep up the good work and appreciate any help you can provide. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Stephen, and we appreciate you, and we appreciate all of you who take the time to send in a question and uh, maybe break through that wall of doubt as to whether you want to put your voice out there. And to all of you that have, thank you very much. And if you haven't, 
give it a shot. Go to askdroneu.com because we know you have questions and we want to hear them. We want to do our best to get them answered for you. So, you know, this is an interesting question in the sense, Paul, that just doing a little bit of research on it, there's some number crunchers out there who have, without going into the details, reached the conclusion that, say, a Phantom 4 Pro battery, you're looking at maybe 300 cycles. That sounds like a lot. That does sound like a lot. And so one conclusion I draw from that, comparing that number crunching to actual experience, is that the numbers don't always work out the way you think they will. The math tells you a theoretical expectation, perhaps, but that doesn't seem to be what you've experienced. Uh, no, I don't, no, I've barely gotten 100 cycles out of any Phantom battery. Um, but I will say, too, you know, how you store your batteries... Um, the auto uh, voltage drain on the batteries, that time frame that you set is also very important. I mean, again, how often you fly and use your batteries and how you store your batteries is really going to be the biggest uh, determinant of the life of your batteries. Mm -hmm. How you charge your batteries is also going to have a factor. Um, and the temperature in which you fly and you charge is going to have a factor. So, for example, let's take the first one, life of the battery in regards to your flying habits. If you're not flying every week, you're going to get less um, cycles out of the battery as a whole. So that's counterintuitive because you need to use it a little bit more to get more out of it. Yeah, I mean, if you let it sit and you let it discharge mm -hmm. for some time, you're going to literally kill the life of the battery. I've right. done that. Um, with Inspire batteries, with Phantom batteries, older Phantom batteries, if you let them sit for more than six weeks, they're absolutely toast, like not usable again. But uh, mm. the batteries have gotten a lot better. Um, I have only had one Phantom 4 battery fail on me. And if I remember, it had 37 cycles on it and it had sat for a while. And I don't really know how long it had sat. I would guess maybe like 12 weeks. So that could have been a bad battery too. The sitting might have had something to do with it. But 37 isn't very many. So I've had a bad battery out of the box before. Yeah. Um, and I just had a battery go bad in Atlanta. Um, and, you know, that battery has, I think, 117 cycles on it, something a lot higher. It's been used since the very beginning. Um, but, you know, if you let a battery, um, you know, if you don't deep cycle your batteries as well, say every 10 flights, that's also going to limit the lifetime of the battery. So when you do a deep cycle, you can do it one of two ways. Uh, number one is you go out for a fly, you do your thing, you get your battery warnings, you bring it to a hover right in front of you when it's dropping down, say 20%, 10%, and it'll finally like auto land itself after a while. And you can even fight the auto land. Um, and give it more power and roll it left and right and really use as much of the battery as possible, then you literally bring the drone inside and let it turn itself off, and that's how you deep cycle the battery. Um, the more you deep cycle, the longer your batteries will last. You don't have to do it like every three flights, but if you wanted to do it like, say, every five flights, you could. Um, the other way to deep cycle your batteries is to simply go for a flight. You don't have to do the whole flight as long as you possibly can right in front of you, 10 feet over the ground. You can just bring the drone down, bring it inside, and leave the drone turned on with the battery on. It'll auto power itself off after about an hour. So there's a couple different cool. ways to do it. Uh, when you bring the drone in, I highly recommend you take the props off. You just never know. It's always a good idea. Um, so we talked about, uh, oh, charging is the next way to increase the life of your battery. Um, with charging, you know, if you are out at a job and it's 85 degrees outside and you use a battery and you don't let the battery cool down um, on its own, you use like an air conditioner, cool it down, you put it in the fridge because you want to cycle the battery. You want to recharge it really fast. So you're out there flying. You only got five batteries. You need to fly all day long. Uh, you know, you're waiting for the battery to cool before you throw it back on a charger. If you artificially cool the battery, it's not going to last as long. Um, also, if you don't wait, say, 20 or 30 minutes, it won't last as long. Now, I'm sure you guys are aware, but if you put a battery on the charger, it'll give you the, um, I think it's the top blinking light that tells it it's too hot to charge. Hmm. Um, so they really are smart batteries. They are smart batteries, mm -hmm. but they still can lose life over the cycle of the battery, even if that goes away and the battery is still warm and it charges, you know, you're still going to limit the life expectancy of the battery itself. Um, I've artificially cooled batteries in a refrigerator before while I was out in Florida, and I ruined two batteries by doing that. Uh, the other thing with charging is if you don't let the battery completely charge, like you take it off when it's still got four lights flashing, you limit the battery by that as well. The other, the other ways to harm the battery. 
Um, let's see, what am I missing here? So deep cycling, we've talked about charging temperatures. We've talked about storage. Um, storage. You know, obviously, what I tell everyone when we do consulting jobs is that you should set your um, auto discharge to seven days because you should always do a Friday fly day to make sure you're flying and practicing no matter what. And after the seventh day, the battery will auto discharge. So, you know, you, you really will have to charge it up again to use it. But what I, I think that's the best thing to do because it forces you, I should be flying every week. So it's an automatic reminder to, to fly because your battery is going to auto discharge on its own anyway. You might as well fly it to keep the battery healthy. Absolutely. I think that really kind of sums it up. So mm -hmm. uh, how you charge the batteries, obviously you don't want to take the battery off the charger until it's absolutely fully charged. Um, the temperature that you charge it, artificially cooling it. Um, I think we covered it all. So all that said, if you've got a solid battery, let's just, you know, it comes to you and it's a good battery, there's nothing wrong with it, and you, you treat it well. I mean, nobody's going to do perfectly with all the deep cycles on the regular pattern and so forth because life happens. But you do a fairly good job. It sounds like 100 cycles or somewhere in that neighborhood is a fair expectation. I think that is a fair expectation. I remember what I forgot to talk about. Um, the Mavic batteries do not last nearly as long as the Phantom batteries. Hmm. And, you know, I was talking about uh, drones being manufactured at the beginning of the show. Obviously, there's a lot more Phantoms than there are Mavics. And, you know, they mass produce them. And for some reason, those batteries are better. They last longer. But um, I have two batteries that are DJI with the Mavic Pro that have sub-25 cycles on them and failed. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's just really quickly define failed. I mean, does that mean it's absolutely bad unusable? Cell. Yeah, bad cell. It, the drone won't take off. Okay. It just recognizes it. Now, that being said, if you guys remember on the old Inspire 1 batteries, they had this little trick where if you had a bad cell, you could literally like pop the top off of the battery, unplug the little five pin port, plug the port back in, reconnect the top of the battery, discharge the battery fully, and then recharge it and get the battery to work again. Hmm. That does work sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it's worth trying, it sounds like. If you have an Inspire 1 battery. I've yeah. never done that with a Phantom battery. Um, you have to be really careful how you do this too because if you use, like for example, if you go to ifixit.com, you can get tools that are specifically made to like fix your iPad, fix your phone, fix your Mac, fix a display, and they're plastic tools. The reason they're plastic is because you don't want to short out the electronics you're working on. Mm -hmm. um, that goes for the battery too. I really don't recommend anyone who does not have significant experience working on drones, working on batteries, to try that because uh, the chances of you getting hurt are quite high. Yeah, just steer clear of that probably. I mean, it's like, you know, I've ruined some batteries back in the day on some vehicles because I've crossed some wires and whatnot. Mm-hmm pretty much the same thing absolutely so. yeah well and you know it's it's a bummer because they're so dang expensive yeah I and mean, they they really are expensive and so obviously taking care of them should be a very high priority unless you just like throwing money at batteries that, but nobody does no nobody does but i think that answers this question um you know taking care of your batteries is really 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 important so make sure you do it um, you guys always got to be flying, even if it's cold out there. Like, I, I don't care. Like, go out there and fly. Your your batteries uh, will be uh, happy. Your wallet will be happy. And if your wallet's happy, chances are your wife is happy. And if you're a female listening to this show, your husband will be happy. Just make sure I cover all my bases here. <laughs> um, so I don't want anyone to feel left out, especially since we've had such a huge increase in female pilots we have. in the Drone U group. And it's so awesome to it see. It is awesome. So, yeah. Absolutely. A lot different perspective, lots of energy. Just it's we've had a great group of, of ladies coming into the group and we're yeah, loving it. We really loving have. It. It's been awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Don't forget to leave us a review or subscribe to the show so you can get the shows automatically. If you want to sign up for a webinar, just go to droneu.education and fill out your email to get on the newsletter and you'll find out when the new webinars are coming up. They've been really successful lately and we've had to even increase the programs that we've used or the allotment of users for the webinars because it's been increasing so much. You're definitely not going to want to miss these. Um, and we also do offer uh, deals to uh, new members uh, in those webinars. So you're right. going to want to check it out. But anyway, yep. that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. And I am Rob. And you're listening to a very enthusiastic Rob on the Ask Drone You podcast. <laughs>